too. This is the hardest emotion to let go of in the yeah. end. The, the reason why it was because it was the very first multi generational emotion. The people you know of as Adam and Eve, who were, the real name is Ammon and a man, they chose self reliance over God reliance. It was the very first bit of emotional damage that got passed on to the next generation. This emotion. And so it's very deep within your core. Very deep within your core is this desire to want to control everything around you to your own pleasure. <laughs> uh, that's very deep within your core. And it will be an emotion that comes up for you a lot of times in your progression. Yeah. The question I have is, you said that when a child is born, they take on the emotions of their mother and father. Mm -hmm. But are they also taking on the emotions of their grandmother and grandfather, yep. and they're great and great and great. So we all have all the emotions of Adam and Eve. Yep. Thank you. Yep. So therefore, oh, therefore <laughs> we actually have the memory to a certain extent? Uh, yeah, most, a lot of the emotions that hit you when you, were, when you were a child were in the womb. Obviously you don't have memories of the events associated with those emotions. And this is why your mind is very... Um, really useless when it comes to dealing with emotion uh -huh. because many of the emotions you're going to need to allow yourself to feel you won't actually have a memory of mm -hmm. you'll just have an emotion of because mm -hmm. right? those emotions have been impressed mm -hmm. down the generations mm -hmm. to you so if you do have an emotion and you sit with it and embrace it mm -hmm. and you get a vision or a knowing yep that'll be very likely a spirit friend of yours, yes. helping you understand where that emotion has come from, giving you a picture, if you like. So with that vision and that spirit helping you get through that emotion, mm -hmm. could we then have that belief that that's a past life? But really it's an emotion yep. associated going all the way back to Adam and Eve. That's how most people believe past lives is that in reality it's just spirits that are with them, giving them different pictures to help them deal with their own emotions. But then they misinterpret those pictures into being a past life experience. Thinking it's a past life. Yep. Okay. Just answer. Uh, is that actually now? Sorry? Was that in the ancestor's life? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, it might not even be an ancestor. It might be like... Someone else. Joan of Arc or <laughs> someone who's famous even. It could be coming to you. There's a lot of very famous people who are struggling in the spirit world to deal with their emotions. And, uh, and there's a lot of spirits who are willing to put pictures into your mind think, so that you think they're someone famous. So that, so that you can have a report. So when you deal with these emotions later and you uh, clarify them, you move them on. Would you possibly be in a situation where you become emotionalist? No, never. In fact, what happens is you become like emotion full, I suppose you put it this way. In that everything you do is driven by desire and passion. Everything. So you become more joyous, more open, more free with all of your emotions. Yeah. So it's the opposite to detachment. Uh, basically, uh, divine love. Well, it's not. You, you're allowed to have, of course, even though you've connected with God and are one with God, you're still your own person. So you will still have your own desires, your own passions, your own longings, your own areas that you want to investigate. And you'll have, like, and the, the more and more you, you live in your free will, the more powerful you become as a soul, the more you can actually obtain and actually enjoy so your joy actually abounds more and more and more, not less. You become more emotional, more desirous, more passionate. You have better love with making with your partner. And all, all those kind of things all happen as a part of the process. <laughs>